Mm. And the Calypso suit wins streamers. Frick 'em. Steel. Mm -hmm. Tenomorphosis, or whatever his name is, Terramorphosis. I put so much time into 1 and 2, not much in the pre-sequel, but uh, just playing 3 just felt weird to me. I thought the classes were fun, but the location was just very boring. Like, it may sound cool being on the moon. <laughs> like, we're gonna play on the moon? Then it was the most open area with nothing to do. Mm. After a while, it didn't worry about it anymore. But, um... I am very excited though for Wonderlands. Yeah. And it's like. My biggest thing with 3 though is I feel like I hated every single playable character. None of them had like, interesting abilities to me. Like, Flag, you get a pet. He's the one I played. I'm, I never really liked Sirens. Um, yeah, I did think Amara seemed cool, but I never really gave her a chance. Um, then Moe's was always under level or underpowered, and you got into a mech. And I forget the other guy. Oh, right, right. He clones himself, right? Practically. Yeah, because you could put on, you could do you could put on a wall that you shoot through, I believe. It can turn into a bubble shield, or you can f clone yourself or freeze people. I don't really remember. And then they never made new characters; they just made new trees. So I don't know what the new trees do. I haven't played them forever. I mean, if I were to compare everybody, I would say the three characters were all equivalent to zero. Two. Enjoyment wise. Yeah, I, I don't like him at all. <laughs>
Were you a uh, a zero fan there, soldier? He might have been good. I just didn't like playing him. I was bored playing him. Oh. Zero from uh, Berlin's too. I think there's supposed to be a good way to build him, but <laughs> I, I think he was he could be a good character. I just don't think he was fun to play. Which I mean, I played Mordecai back to in the first one. He was objective. Well, no, Brick's objectively the worst in the first one. Yeah, I think Lilith's pretty fun too. You just go invisible and walk past everything, and it dies. <laughs> I think two's pinnacle. Two is the pinnacle of Borderlands currently. The worst thing about three is that, in my opinion, and I think a lot of people's opinions, it doesn't even top pre sequel, which was a step down from two. See, pre sequel, it's very fun characters, but boring story, and then. Three is barren, boring story and boring characters. Three's not too bad of a boring. Er, yeah, I don't three's like, too, not too bad of a story. I don't say. like any of those characters. I think Amara is also very fun and interesting. I think I think Moe's is shitty. Moe's is shitty and um Oh yeah. Uh yeah, that Moe's is the gunner with the mech. Uh the other guy is um Fuck, he's he's Flint. He's Flint's brother. I forget his name though. You remember Flint from the first game? Um, I think they're triplets. They're triplets. They're all brothers. Yeah. Fr Flint in the first game is the guy on the big drilling rig. Flint in the second game is the first boss. And then Flint in the third game is playable character. <laughs> and they're brothers. They're triplets. So, when you got the end game though with uh, Vlack, literally you just ignore your pets and you just get buffs. You never, man. So it was just you're just shooting people. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, they're they're trying to be what Jack seamlessly was. <laughs> Jack is one of the best villains in all of media, honestly. I don't know about that. He's very good. He's also compelled. Like, he's compelled by something that makes you relate to him. He's not just an asshole. No, he's he does shitty things. That's what makes it a good villain. Like he's not you're not on his side because he's an asshole. I almost just left the party trying to close up Black Ops. <laughs> I thought so. You're on the home menu, so I figured you were already off Call of Duty. Oh, well, I'll get a monster on her. That was all just The thing with the uh, ESO, Destiny, though... I need to do my fucking... Ugh, ESO's like 120... Tomorrow. I believe ESO's 120 gigabytes. Fuck ESO. I, I refuse to reinstall that game. I will never... <laughs> I don't know why I paid money for it. No, I paid for it. I remember explicitly getting the big version of it. The, uh, the yeah, DLC you got more for us. is um, account based. 
I had the first, uh... No, I didn't get any of the expansions. Or maybe I got the first expansion, because I bought the Royal Edition or whatever it was. Steel was just nothing. Steel was like a Bond villain. She was just like <laughs> the bad German. Yeah. Oh my god, Aaron. <laughs> that one was so good. Did you put your microphone up to your butt? Yes, I did. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> oh, let's her go. Let me get a Let picture of that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? What am I doing here? I'm already on it. Uh, it'll probably be some Elder Dragons. I want to hunt some Teostros, because I need a good, uh, need a good Bracky Teo build so I can get some fatty armor. Man, I'm so happy we ca we saved Underdome for the end, because I don't know why I remember liking Underdome when it was first came out in, like, 2009. Then uh, Underdome. But it sucks. No, it's horrible, man. Yeah, I don't know why I remember having fun with it. I quit the game for a couple months when um, that DLC came out. And I came back when uh, Captain Knox's uh, DLC came out. Yeah. General Knox was bad too. Like it's the best one from one, hands down. Like no two ways about it. I like the claptrap one. But the claptrap one was fun. I don't think it's the best one though. I did like the claptraps as enemies though. That's fun. I do want to go back to 3 at some point and play all 4 of the DLCs. Well, I guess 5 of them now. I don't... Season, you know, Year 2 was just enhancements to those gameplay, right? I get added a roguelike dungeon thing. <laughs> a little stretch deck was good. What? That was a DLC for 2. Did she have a head Headhunters DLC where she had got a big neck? Is that what you're talking about? No. No, it was the plant... Yeah. It was that where the plant guy good. comes and takes the tower. Yeah. The tower? <laughs> Sanctuary. I forgot that was even a DLC, to be honest. I had pulled every class in that game. I wish they didn't do so dirty, though. Only one I did not link was uh, Zero from Two. Reese. Reese. Vaughn? Oh, uh, Roland. Keep rolling, Roland, Roland. Yeah, I thought Roland dying was a good thing in Two. It was very good for a driving plot. I put him first. Axon actually. wasn't even in uh, Borderlands Two, was or Three, was he? No. They didn't make notes. any. They did make reference to him, though. I think because yeah. Mose was served under him. Krieg's yeah, well, Krieg game. is in... Yeah, Krieg's in the final DLC, so there's probably actually some information about that. 
That's why I want to play that DLC. It's because I want some more information about that fucking psychopath. <laughs> it was. Yeah. <laughs> I, w I recently watched the uh, the trailer for him again, where it, you can hear his like inner monologue, and he sees Maya, and he's like, <laughs> Oh, a pretty lady. Here's your chance. Don't ask her to get on your poop train. Hey, lady, you want to get on my poop train? <laughs> It's so fucking good. I also really like Deli. Doesn't Scooter die in the Tales, Tales from, from the Borderlands? Yeah, he dies in Tales. No, he dies in two, helping Reese and... No, he's alive in two, because you can go see him in Sanctuary. He's in the garage. No, he definitely dies in Tails from the Borderlands. He rides a rocket into space and explodes. And they have a funeral for him. Due to the corpse of Henderson getting stuck inside of the rocket thrusters, the rocket was on the verge of exploding. Scooter and Fiona proceeded to proceed, proceed to begin fixing the malfunctioning rocket thrusters. However, with Fiona was successful in fixing on one of the rocket thrusters by pressing the yellow button. Um, Mr. Fast closing doors. Clamp him through the arm of Scooter, and he wasn't fast enough to get away from the rocket, and then it blows up. I remember this scene. Fiona, yeah. I just remember him doing a... a, a what the fuck's that one character? <laughs> uh, yeah. Dr. Lovejoy? Is that the name? You know what I'm talking about. Get her done? No, I'm looking it up. Dr. Strangelove. I absolutely love Hammerlock, and I am actually super into the fucking- I love- yeah, I love the him and fucking- Wayne All of Hammerlock's such DLCs a good... are better than all Borderlands 3's DLCs, and I hated Hammerlock 2's- or Hammerlock's DLC from 2. Hammerlock's- the Headhunter DLCs are fun. The yeah, but I mean, Hammerlock the, the, DLC was bad. The Safari. Yeah, but they are so much better than the D Borderlands 3 DLCs. The Hammerlock DLC felt like a shitty, sort of watered-down version of the zombie DLC. You know what All I mean? All the ones from 3 feel like they're forced because they have to have DLC. Is trash and amazing at the same time? It... It plays like trash. The, the fucking missions in it are absolute garbage, but I loved it. What is in the year two season pass for three? It was the, um... Arms the dealer. extra outfits and the subclasses. That's the best DLC, but... Because it was the director's cut and the arms dealer stuff, right? I believe. For, um... Year three. Your uh, season pass two. Uh, yes, it was the arms dealer and the director's cut. For Borderlands three, it added the extra subclasses. It added a bunch of new outfits and stuff. It added uh, they added Iridium rerolling, which I don't think was locked behind one of those, but you know. Oh, they added that because so you can I hated the movements so much. Yeah, you can reroll them now. They were it cost so, a shit ton, but it, you had like. Such a horrible chance of getting what you wanted because of all the stuff. Oh, you had different barrels and magazines and all that, plus they added movements. If you ever get what you wanted. Yep. And when I heard the arms dealer thing was just tacked on and it wasn't that good. He doesn't deserve it. You can hear him. 
You answered him with apparently. Were you not answering him? Who'd you speak to? Do you have him blocked? Because <laughs> you can't unmute if it's your blocked. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Donkey, donk, donk, donk. Soldier, are you in my game? Or no? They ever change the hub for that game, or is it still like the upper parts, the multiplayer area, and then you have the bottom part where you do everything? Upper parts, the multiplayer area, but there is a new area for um, Iceborne. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a new, better area for Iceborne. I was hated by the and then not seeing so anybody. Much better than Astera. Because there was no point in going to the uh, the ship up top. Yeah, uh, you can forge weapons from the Gathering Hub now, so pretty much everything that you need down here is available up there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> can you uh, do your plants up there, or no? No, that's fair. Yeah. You need to do your botanies down here, the steamworks is down here, um... The Elder Melder is down here if you need to do anything with her. The Elder Melder. There is a provision stockpile up there, though, I believe. Uh, you can't get your Palicos up there either, your Tail Raiders. I got three ingots of the uh, Netherite, let's go. What are we hunting for, me boys? Um, was the last time you played this game, Aaron? Uh, last week when I joined with you. Did you? Didn't you when just log on to log like off? An hour. No, I fished for like an hour and then oh, I got okay. off. I gotta do trial. I gotta get my two more wins still tomorrow for trials. Yeah, I'm just gonna hop on and fucking. I really wanted to get a reason. Uh, fell with two randoms. But all I got was armor, like usual. I'm, I'm gonna try to get a, a really monarch. good, uh... Sarayas? Wraith? No, the fucking... I forget what it's called already, but the, the, the linear. I'm gonna get one with Vorpal. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say the other perk was that you want on there? Triple tab. Oh yeah, that's really fucking Or good. you can get Triple firing line Vorpal. instead of Vorpal. But it's bugged right now, so it's up, it's up to you. What's firing line do? Is that when you're near guardians, you do more damage? You do more precision damage. So it was 25% for everything but uh, one of the uh, one of the weapon types, I believe. Then they changed it down to be 20% uh, globally, but they bugged it out. So now it only does 12% damage. I don't understand why everything Bungie does fucks up on the back end. <laughs> <laughs> like when they buffed the uh, linear fusions last season, and they didn't buff sleeper for like uh, four months. <laughs> like when they made it so you could one-shot any boss in the fucking game with Peregrine Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that was a bug. <laughs> Peregrine Greaves and a uh, one-two punch. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was just broken. The Greaves just... yeah. Okay. And it was it must have been like a multiplicative stack, right? Instead of a additive one. Mm -hmm. To do that much damage. Yeah. We're talking about there Destiny. was a last year in Destiny during I think it was Arrivals, right? It was Arrivals. There was a perk on shotguns that made it so if you may uh if you hit every pellet of your shotgun, it increased your melee damage for like two seconds. And then uh, there's a Titan exotic that makes your melees do more damage after meeting something. I don't remember what Peregrines do. But you could one-shot bosses. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah you could shoot right before charges. you did your uh, shoulder Was charge. Was it only on the, um, the arc one, or was it all of them? Uh, anyone that could do a shoulder charge could do it. But, Everyone um, has a shoulder charge. Yeah. But, um... We're not safe Unless the safe. solar doesn't count, because it's a knee. <laughs> no, it, it still counts. But um, they they 
first they nerfed, inside the same patch, they nerfed the uh, parry on Greaves, and then they also ch changed it so you can't shoot and then throw us in midair. Mm. No. I don't even go on the website. It's very funny. Kobe found some, yeah, fucking gay gym bro from Australia one time. <laughs> you boys will be happy to know that uh, Kayla did in fact get her ice cream, and not only did she get her ice cream, she got a quart of ice cream, because that's all they had. Hey. <laughs> I still haven't seen her emerge from the cave to get, like, put a, it away. A week? So. So, like, every time, they, like, once a week, they send you a uh, cream in the mail. Mmm. <laughs> Recurring supply. <laughs> Dollar cream club. <laughs> It'll save you the uh, issue of having to go out every week. God, it's only on Sunday. It's only on Sunday. That's the weirdest fucking thing. Same thing with Chick-fil-A. She only wants Chick-fil-A on Sundays. Do same. Oh, if yeah. you're looking to get the most, uh, or level up the fastest soldier, not soldier. You can pay to get max, uh, to soft cap, Kobe. So you can pay to get 1300. You could also or just you, do you lost sectors. you should have a free one, actually. No, you but yeah, you can do one. that, too. So, well, he might still does the free one from, uh, the Shadow never got Keep, a free or one. whatever. It was never a free one, it was always 15 bucks. No, there was... I remember specifically using a free one. It was either at Forsaken or Shadowkeep. It must have been with the launch of the pulling up your characters, maybe? When they added that symbol the first time. I don't remember, but if you, if you preach it, then maybe. No, I definitely use it on my Titan. But, I played um... Hunter at base game, and then when I went to play again, because I stopped after Forsaken came out. You can go to the Tangled Shore, and in the uh, main area, there's a, uh... You know what the last section talk about, Aaron? The one Tangled Shore, the very first area we take the elevator up? Yeah, the one with the DJ? No. You go up the elevator, you don't go down, you don't go through the doors. Okay, the other one. They're so, both um, right next to each other, but yeah. yeah. but the one up at the top of the elevator is like a half a minute long, and you always get- You don't always get gear, but you have a high chance of getting gear out of that chest. So just go in there, kill the boss, and leave, and do that for a little bit. Why won't McDonald's do anything unique anymore, man? It's just like a band's drink now. Or like a band sandwich meal. I don't get it. Right? Like, they used to experiment. If they, they were at the, the 10s, I would go nuts. But have you tried the Sprite mix that they have at McDonald's? Do not... You cannot sell me to go into a best food joint with, to put off a drink. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> but... I'm not saying it's the best thing that's ever happened. I'm just saying it's worth trying because it's like a fruity sprite. It's weird. Like four times in the last year, they had like a, they had like the the the, the yeah the, they had the BTS. Uh, let's um, see, they had uh, they had Cactus Jack, whatever his fucking name is. I can't remember. I don't know. Um, Travis Scott. Yeah, there we go. The they BTS. had Jay Blevin, that fucking Colombian whatever music uh, person. Then they recently they had a Saweetie one, who I guess is a female rapper, maybe. Not entirely sure. Uh, and they had a BTS one as well. I was like, you need back to spicy nugs. What the heck? Somebody's... <laughs> people were selling the greasy BTS bags on eBay for like a hundred bucks. I, I don't even know like what BTS is, man. Yeah, it's K-pop. I never heard of them. It's an incredibly popular K-pop band. Oh, whoops. Overrated K-pop band, honestly. <laughs> I, I think I heard them in a commercial before, but don't... Aren't they... Um, don't they sing in They're English? in the new um, Samsung commercial. They, yeah. Their newer stuff, a lot of it's in English. To appeal to a global audience instead of just I feel a Korean like one. that is... It removes from the idea of being a K-pop band? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, they've been popular for years. I don't know why. It feels weird to me. Good, but that, um, it's not. Is it they're known for it? They just changed to be English. If it, if it feels weird. I don't know. I mean, I've never, never heard a K-pop song, so. Ah, uh, Kobe, we need to do your guiding lens, right? It's weird too, like, because they have songs that play during like theatrical parts of inside, inside of Yakuza, and they'll use like English versions of songs, or like they'll record the songs in English, even if you're playing in Japanese. Mm. The wildest part about K-pop is that. A lot of times, the people in the groups are native English speakers. <laughs> like, there's people in, uh, Kayla likes a group called Stray Kids, and two of them are Australian. <laughs> uh, I think there's seven in that group. Five or seven. Yeah, there's seven in BTS, and one of them They're also rich English kids fluently. in a foreign country. No, I guess I shouldn't say foreign, but... I mean, they're rich, but they, like, sell their souls to, yeah, like, no, literally mean, these fucking companies own them and work them to the bone. They're if you're slaves, a rich kid in, like, any country, you probably have English. Yeah, no, they are literally slaves. Like, it's I, so fucking bad. I play the they get in their contract that they can't, uh, like, can't date people. They can't fucking marry people. I play the uh, five. Okay. Foreign, you know, I I know what it's that's just like. insane. Dude, Yakuza Five is the best Yakuza. No, the only thing that gets them out usually is there's mandatory military service in Korea uh, when you turn twenty five. This country wants my life for shit. <laughs> he can have my life. I don't need it. <laughs> Something like saying a pledge every morning before you start your school day. I usually yell it all the time for not doing that in school. <laughs> Dude, it's so fucking obnoxious, people who get mad when you don't say the Pledge of Allegiance in school or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I never once stood for the Pledge after, like, 7th grade. For a while, yeah, like, it felt weird. If you were, like, in like, elementary school or, like, Once school. you get old enough to think about what you're fucking saying, like, that's some cult shit. Are yeah. you kidding me? Plus, like, dude, I went to Catholic school. Once a week. Or like yeah, putting your hand on your heart for the national I cannot anthem. Believe like some fucking this. dude four hundred years ago wrote that shit. Like why is it like I let's can't update that shit? Believe some of the stuff I like, we did in uh, in Catholic school, man. It was just wild. The thing back about my it. vote for a new national anthem is "God Is a Woman" by Ariana Grande. I haven't heard it. But we change every time it says woman, it changes to furry. God is a furry. <laughs> Launch your guiding lens, I want to shoot something. <laughs> I just got here. I, did, I, was, I was just fucking cooking. Probably do. Uh. Look at your free real estate voice. That was my I was about to burp voice. 
I need to make custom meals, but I'm too lazy to do that, so... Yeah. Consulting in Pennsylvania. The Bible Belt. <laughs> yeah. I believe it's only Catholic schools around here, but... Oh yeah, Catholic schools play by different rules. It's because they're private schools. If yeah. they're not owned by the government, they don't have to follow school board rules the same way. There's no pump pretty school, sure. I believe. Yeah. Dude, my, uh, my one, um, my one, uh, global history teacher in school was, he used to teach in other countries, uh, and he was, I believe it was Korea, but this doesn't sound like something that would be happening. I don't know, though. Uh, but he said that they used to have to, like, punish the kids in a very specific way when they, like, acted up. <laughs> um... Why is there no guiding lands that I can join? What the fuck? Oh, is it because you haven't joined in yet? Okay, yeah. Uh, but I guess in the school that he taught in, they had to take him into a special room, and they would stand on a spot on the floor and lean over this, like, bar in front of them, and you had to hit him in the back of the knees with a yardstick. <laughs> it do be wild. That's fucking insane. They were, he said they were like 6th graders too, but it was like this really fucking big 6th grade girl because it's like growth hormone or some shit. I remember that story vividly. <laughs> I saw a video of kids calling their teachers by their first names, and they went into this one tech class and called them. They were like, hey, Doug, how's it going? And he fucking does the two-finger point that my dad does all the time. He's like, absolutely not. That is disrespectful. You do not call me. It's <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> if you weren't my teacher, I would use your first name. I wouldn't fucking call you... Mr. Johnson or whatever. I forget most of my teacher's names typically, so I would just say... I would always say, like, Mr. Teach, or Teach, because I did not remember my teacher's names. <laughs> Once you get to, like, junior, senior in high school or college level, the teachers don't fucking care, yeah. They'll call you a pimply little shit. <laughs> Well, you're an adult at that point. <laughs> oh, some burial. I don't think you need to, like, hit kids to begin with. I don't think it's... There's multitudes of studies that show that, like, vi like physical violence is no better than, like, scalding them. <laughs> or scolding them, I mean. Scalding them. But throw boiling water on them, that's better. I'd say it's worse in the, uh, the opposite direction. It's more like you want to retaliate more. We're getting your wild spire to level four. Do we have a wild spire to hunt? I'm in. We have a nightshade paluma we can hunt. You need a relog? I know. You think it'll go? Yeah, it did.
I just, I think it is a slippery slope because I don't think everybody can retain themselves. I mean, look at me. <laughs> look at my parents. My mother threw a fucking vacuum at me. My dad threw me to the ground and kicked me in a public place. Mike Excuse me. Yeah, well, that's, you got a whole different... <laughs> But that is a fucking midget. The crab apple throw. Swinging his fist in a circle, chasing after me down the hall. I don't even remember that one. Apparently I was bruised for like a long ass time, but... Yeah. But had left my house when I, when I was six, so... Fighting this Palumu. We're hunting the Palumu, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, rightly so. Like, again, he literally kicked, like, a 12-year-old kid. Threw him to the ground and kicked Right. Dude, I got fucking electrocuted the other day when I was putting up Christmas lights because one of the bulbs was off. Uh, it did hurt, lights? but also I immediately got sent back to your fucking, uh, your dining room where you used to get shocked when you turned on the light all the time. Oh no, dude. <laughs> this is this is a part in, um, 12 minutes. Where oh I yeah. <laughs> I killed myself on the first fucking run. <laughs> One time, I I went to go... Uh, Can you get the wife to do it? Yeah, so I did it on accident. I, went, I turned the light on on accident in the bedroom, and I walked out in the closet, and she's like, Honey, you here? And I didn't, I didn't say anything, obviously. So we went to the bathroom, turned the light on, I hear a thud. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> and she dies, too. I, um... If you just sit in the closet and watch the guy come in and steal the thing and kill your wife, um, you have to shoot yourself in the head to start the next loop. No, you don't. It just, it just restarts instantly. Yeah, it's it's a ten, it's 12 minutes, so... But, um... If anything happens where, like, you're, it's not gonna work at that point, like, nothing to continue the story, it just resets you. Yeah, it was so funny. Just hearing her turn the light on, just hearing a thump, and then you go in there. Oh, she wasn't wearing shoes. She's dead. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> 
What is there no room for the um ice cream up there with the entire turkey we have in our freezer? Why are you putting up Christmas lights anyway? For Halloween. <laughs> Kayla can't help herself. It's oh look, now she's laying in between my legs. Why are you on top of me, Kayla Murray? Can I help you, Kayla Murray? With what? With whatever it is you're doing. Okay, but why? How much homework have you done? Because uh, we wasted all day shopping, and then you came home and you fell asleep on the floor. I got a hundred so... on my Vietnam test. Okay, it's not, not how much homework. <laughs> I got a hundred. That was on the Americanization of the Vietnam War. <laughs> that wasn't oh, yeah? an answer to the question, though. You deflected. That was not an answer to the question. I, I'm glad you see how good she is at diversion. What question? I'm almost done with my script. Oh, for your podcast class? Yeah. I did I did too much on Maria Antoinette, but you know how I get Did you get to pay for that class? I just love her so much. Did you get to pay for that class? No, 